key thing that happened in the third quarter of 2012 was stability. Stability has been the key theme for all of 2012. Our first quarter vacancy rate finished at approximately 9.2%, increasing slightly to 9.5% at the end of the second quarter of 2012, and wrapping up the third quarter just slightly above at 9.53%. The thing that's occurring mostly in our market is we've had great absorption through numerous transactions. The key problem is that by the end of each quarter we've had several distribution centers hit our marketplace creating a negative net absorption offsetting all the positive things that have happened so far in 2012. The Greater Dayton market, uh, Miami Valley as we like to call it here locally, saw some positive absorption for Q3. Actually we went from a 14 called 14.5% vacancy rate uh, across all asset classes to about 12.9% vacancy rate. So a absorption of nearly 600,000 square feet. In third quarter, the industrial market distinguished itself drastically through both leasing and sales. Leasing, there was very little activity on the northern side of town in the Cincinnati Union Center Westchester Marketplace, whereas down in Northern Kentucky, there were several large transactions that occurred in the 200,000, 75,000 square foot range, and approximately 15 transactions occurred in our office warehouse, Flex Marketplace. Inverting that on the sales side, Northern Kentucky saw very few transactions selling, whereas in the Northern Cincinnati Marketplace, we saw several transactions occurring on the sales side. On the sales side, we've seen the prices increase per square foot and the product limited to what's currently available in the market in both corridors. A couple notable transactions for third quarter 2012 was the sale of a 250,000 square foot facility in Fairfield to Honeyman Products. In addition, in central Midtown, an 80,000 square foot sale occurred to Woolco. In the Northern Kentucky marketplace, Cengage finally renewed their 835,000 square feet facility and GSI Commerce leased a 234,000 square foot facility in Walton. Three notable transactions come to mind. Uh, 160,000 square foot lease in the Prestolite building, a 44,000 square foot lease on the north side of Dayton, actually in Troy, to uh, Remedy Senior Care. And the single biggest noteworthy transaction would be the sale of the uh, Cooper Tire Building, as we know it, on Dryden Road in Moraine. I predict for the next three months that there'll be some activity, there'll be some completed sale and lease deals, but overall the market should remain somewhat flat. And this is mainly due to the current mindset of these buyer or tenant prospects that are out there. And they're waiting and watching the three E's and the first E is election, and that's given the impact that the uh, upcoming election will have on business. Secondly is the Europe economic crisis, and the third E is employment, or should I say unemployment levels. Looking forward to the uh, balance of this year and on into 2013, I believe we're seeing positive trends. Uh, certainly the 600,000 square feet absorption for the third quarter would be an indicator of things to come. Uh, we're seeing good activity yet in the Austin Boulevard area, as well as the wright Pat Air Force Base area. So I'm very encouraged about what we have going forward in 2013.